Hi everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export animated banners from Figma to HTML for the flash talking ad platform. So to do that, we're going to install a plugin called Bannerify and if you haven't already installed it, you can go to the top left corner of the Figma toolbar and click on the Figma icon. And then if you go down to community and click on the search bar, uh, you can type in the key phrase Bannerify, so that's B-A-N-N-E-R-I-F-Y. And then if you click on the plugins tab, you'll see a result that says Bannerify HTML exporter. And uh, if you haven't already installed it, you can click on the little install button on the right hand side. And then uh, once you've clicked it, it'll change to look like mine to say installed with a little check mark. And that's how you know it's ready. Uh, so the second thing we'll do um, just to get started is to click into the Bannerify title and when we do that it'll open up the description and if you scroll down a little bit to the section that's called additional notes the first bullet point in there contains a URL and if you copy that URL uh, on the second line and paste it into your web browser that's going to let you duplicate uh, a copy of the, the project that we're going to be using in this tutorial um, so that's just going to give you a really easy way to have a pre-designed um, set of banners with some animations on it to try this out. Um, but of course, if you have your own design, feel free to use that one instead. So now that we've uh, cloned that project and installed the Bannerify plugin, once you've opened the file, just right click anywhere on the page and go down to plugins and then go to Bannerify HTML exporter and click on that. And that's just going to fire up the Bannerify plugin that we just installed. And once that loads, you'll be able to see that uh, it's loaded in all of the banners from our Figma file into the plugin. And if we click on this little play icon, you can see that we've already got some preset animations that have come with the file. Um, so this tutorial will not be covering how to add those animations in or go through all the timeline uh, sort of tutorial. But if you do need to watch a video on that and get up to speed for your own banners um, or just to understand how it works, we do have another tutorial on the YouTube channel, the Figmatic uh, YouTube channel. And you can watch that one. It goes for about 40 minutes and it's a really comprehensive guide to uh, creating and animating these banners in Figma using the Bannerify plugin. Um, but today, because we've already got this set up and we're happy with all of our animations, all we want to do is export them from Figma to HTML and get them prepared for the flash talking platform. So the first thing we need to do is just click on the top right corner of the plugin. There's a, there's a button called export banners to HTML. So I'm going to click on that. And you'll see we've got a few different settings here, but the one that we're interested in today uh, is just in the bottom right called code output settings. And underneath the export format label, You'll see a drop down list, and if you click on that drop down, uh, it's going to reveal a whole bunch of different platforms. And today, the one that we're interested in is the Flash Talking platform. So that's the one near the bottom. So I'm just highlighting that now. If you click on Flash Talking, that will change the export format option to be Flash Talking, and uh, that's going to tell Bannerify that that's the format that we want to export to. So to export that from Figma to HTML for Flash Talking, uh, all we need to do now is click on the Export Banners button in the bottom right. So I'm just going to click on that now. And this is going to generate all of the code that we need and all of the images that we need from Figma uh, into a little zip file for us that we can use. So I'm just going to save that. And if I go to my desktop and open up the zip file, uh, you'll see that we get a folder full of all of the banners that we just exported from Figma. Uh, you can see the names are all matching up with the frames and it's got all the dimensions in here as well. Uh, the easiest way to see what that's just output for us is by clicking on the index.html file. So if you double click on that. Okay, so that's just loaded up the banners uh, index file. You can see all of the banners in here. Uh, loading up as expected um, with all the animations and we can play them again just by clicking on this little play button in the top right and make sure everything's looking good which it is everything's coming in as we'd expect um, so to get an idea of what has actually been exported by Bannerify 
what we can do is open up our code editor. So in this case, I'm just using Visual Studio Code, um, but you can use anything you like. And I'm just gonna drag in the medium rectangle folder as an example, and also just open up the index file in the browser so we can see what banner we're looking at. Okay, so in Visual Studio Code, you can see on the left-hand side here, we've got all of our files and folders. And just clicking on the index.html file, we can see that we've got all of our image elements here. Uh, we've got our CSS file, our JavaScript file, um, which is all looking good. And the CSS contains all the positioning and all of the animations that we need. So that all gets generated for us automatically. Uh, and then the JavaScript file contains some code that's uh, specific to Flash Talking. So Flash Talking, the, the ad platform, uh, this is including some code that's gonna fire and apply a click tag to our banner. Um, so this has already been generated. You don't have to modify this. This is just to show you uh, what's what's been included and um, just to make sure that we have selected the right platform, which we have. Um, and then the last file that it includes for us specific to the Flash Talking platform uh, is this manifest.js file. Uh, so when we upload this banner into Flash Talking, it's gonna get picked up by the platform and it's gonna understand uh, some of these things that we're telling it here. So it's telling us, uh, it's gonna tell Flash Talking where to look for the banner file, so the index.html, what the width and height is, uh, how many click tags it contains, uh, and things like that. So, uh, so that all gets generated for you. You don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, you don't need to modify this, um, but of course you can if you wanted to. But this is just an example of what is getting exported by Bannerify. Okay, so that's that's everything uh, that you need to do to export banners, uh, animated banners from Figma to HTML uh, for the Flash, Flash Talking platform. Uh, you don't need to have any developers to do this. You don't need to know code uh, to do this. You can just use the Bannerify plugin for Figma and uh, that's gonna give you everything that you need to um, export those animated banners uh, into HTML in just a few seconds like we just saw. So I hope that's been helpful if you've been looking for a way to do this um, directly from Figma. Um, yeah, the Flash Talking platform is one of many that Bannerify supports. So if you do need to use it for another platform, we have some other tutorials on our YouTube channel that you can check out and, uh, and see how they work as well. So until next time, thank you as always for watching and uh, we'll be back soon with more tutorials just like this one.